building downtown. 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 You know, of course, you know, I, I encountered him. I knew who he was, but I didn't know. So when I saw the name, I'm like, Sky Zoo? I'm like, yo, how the fuck is this dude named Sky Zoo? And I'm like, because my older cousin, like I said, they, they, the group is called Sky, and they have a mm-hmm. song on their, on one of, they have mad albums. They got a song on one of their albums called Sky Zoo. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it was... um. Back in that era, this is before my time, but back in that era, people used to play the kazoos. You know what a kazoo is. Oh, yes. Right? Either you blowing the poof, poof, and make the mm-hmm. fucking weird noises and shit. Yep. Right. <laughs> so, they, so, they, so they had a little twist on it. So they had a thing called the Sky Zoo. And so they had a song, we're going to play our Sky Zoo. And they, would, and they would do the little rhythm and shit like that. And Sky Zoo's parents gave him that nickname because they're from Brooklyn and they were fans of that rep because my cousins were big in Brooklyn. Like, they're from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, that's like, Oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is hilarious. That is funny as shit. That's funny <laughs> as hell. But you got to play Call Me, though. Call Me is the record. But, yeah, so when I met Sky Zoo, like, you know, you know, after the fact, I'm like, yo, bro, where you got that name from? <laughs> oh, no. like that, that, that name is not a, you know what I'm saying it's not mm-hmm. like Jonathan like Sky Zoo who the hell is <laughs> so I'm like yo bro where you got the name from he told me he was like yo my, my family he gave me the whole story and I'm like yo bro that's my cousin and then from that day on like me and Sky was like in sync you feel me like so matter of fact um, we got a single coming out called Knockout Game by the way cause you know I, I, I it gets very busy. So me and Sky Zoo got a single called Knockout Game coming out soon. But yeah, shouts to Sky Zoo, man. And that's and that's been my bro ever since. But he got his he got his name for my cousin's group back in the freaking eighties or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And what 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 is how is how soon is soon? Is how soon is soon? As far as yeah. what? You said the singer's coming out soon. It's, uh, as, soon, as soon as we can figure out this this pandemic situation, because I I want to I want to I want to be able to hit the road and do a few spots and shit like that. So I got you know I want I want to put in some work around working the records and shit. So so like twenty thirty. Okay. Out. <laughs> yeah, okay. pretty much, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then I got to then I got to get out to Atlanta because um. Sky Sky's out in Atlanta now. He he don't live in the hood no more out here. So I'm uh, I'm probably gonna head out there to shoot the visuals. You know what I'm saying? So if we we figure all that out. I w- I will let you guys know. And the next track is heading west. I assume you'll be out there for uh, every one of the battles because it's it's you're in the west from now on, right? I think. One okay, no. Well, one of the the next event, I believe the next live event is the twenty ninth. That was the twenty second. Wait, wait, wait. Ock had made a comment on the last at the last event. He made a very offhanded comment about well, there might be some dates changing in the future, but I don't know if anybody knows what he was talking about. Well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm like King of the God announced that, but if if my memory serves me correct. The next event with airing battles that we have already taped is like a special this weekend coming up. So it's yep. not a live yep. event. Yeah. Right. And then the week after is the twenty second. The twenty second. Okay. And that and I got so much. Is. I, I'm thinking. I, okay, you know I'm gonna give you the wrong date. So let me shut the hell up and we'll figure it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give mis. I don't want to give misinformation. So don't even. Don't even let's yeah, I, well, I don't know. Here, here's I thought, what we do now. I thought the, the 29th, I thought the north versus the east was the 29th. So yeah, the west versus the yeah, south. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Right. But the twenty second the twenty second is the south versus the west. Right, right. Yeah, so yeah. 
Yeah. That's so LA. Right. Okay. Okay. That that works out right. So next yeah. week is, is this week coming up is a um is this, is it a battle that we already have taped. It's a special. The yep. week after, right? The week after we'll be in L.A. for the West versus the South. Right. And then the week after we'll be in Detroit for the East versus the North. Now oh, here's the no, wait. I don't want to put you on the spot here. Uh, but Avo, Avocado was saying literally today, as he was on the road on the way back home to L.A., that this was it. And once he got back home to L.A., he wasn't leaving again to be on the road because everything else was in L.A. Oh, this shit. Then you, then you put me on. Fuck. I check I check my email for the itinerary, then I go where the, where the, where the flight take me, yo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Will you be going to the, uh, will you of all the captains or you by yourself just on your own be going to the uh, West versus South? I'm not sure. It depends, man. Um, if they need me there, I'm, I'm 100% down. Like, I'm down to show up to most events, but, you know, but especially, you know, with this whole pandemic and everything, these little things are a lot more shaky as far as yeah. getting around and stuff. So, I, I would love to, you know, I, I was there for, I was there in the South for the first round and I was there holding direct down. So I'm, you know, I'm down to show to any event, whatever capacity, but, um, I know we will be, we will definitely be, we should be out there for the final because, you know, all, all, uh, all sides will be represented, you know what I'm saying? So we'll definitely be out there for the final, but I don't know if I'll be out there for the South versus the West. I'm not sure about that one. I'm, I might, I might be stationed in Brooklyn. Mm. No better place okay. to but, be. You know, yeah. But if, but if, like I said, if 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 my um if my email alerts me that there's an itinerary <laughs> sitting there for me, if your phone if your phone I, rings, yeah, you, and, you know, you I guess I'll show, up with, show up with a Tupac hologram. I mean, because you know, because you know, if <laughs> I show up, they gonna show up. <laughs> it's just what I do. You know what I'm saying, like. You know, this is listen. I could make a few calls, man. You know, it, it, it's it's fine. Damn, you just went all Godfather and shit. All right. <laughs> oh shit! I felt kind of in danger for my life. I'd look at yeah. the windows and shit. I gotta go, man. <laughs> I can make a few you phone know, calls. <laughs> you know, there's there's not a city on earth that I've walked through. Str- if I walk in any city. Any like any uh I say metropolitan area of a city. If you put me in any metropolitan area hub within twenty minutes, I'm gonna bump into somebody who knows who the fuck I am and we're gonna have a conversation. Don't matter where the fuck we at. I don't care I don't care the continent. I don't care if the motherfucker don't know English. So and and, and, it's, and and I'm not and it's not like every, and it's not like everybody's running and chasing me. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is, someone will recognize me. No, no matter. If I, I could be somewhere thinking that don't nobody know shit about shit, and then someone will be like, they they may not know. Hey, you're poison pain, but they were like, you the guy. You did this. You you did. Oh wow, that's you. Like it, it doesn't matter if I'm in London. If I'm in if I'm in Paris. You know, it don't it don't matter, bro. Like I could be somewhere think not thinking that nobody knows who the fuck I am, and that and and honestly, that's one of the reasons I had to um I I I, I kept the job as long as I could, you know, doing balance and everything years ago. But it got to the point where I, I couldn't. I just not because I was above work, you know. I thought like I didn't need I didn't need to work. I just couldn't work in a place where there was anybody. That was prone to just be able to have a conversation because I'm like, because I'd be at work and motherfuckers be like, "Yo, Pin," and I'd be like, "Yeah, what's up?" And then now you know we're having a 15 hour conversation like this podcast, and it's like, "Yo, Pin, um, <laughs> we got some shit that needs to be tended to." You feel me? So, you know, I, I just what I, I just I'm tapped in, bro. You know, I. I I guess I have a lovable face, you know what I'm saying? So people like to <laughs> engage, engage with me or whatever have you. You know, I, I I do I do have a jolly exterior, you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> don't you know, don't don't take me for joke or nothing, but I, I I'm I'm a I'm a pleasant I'm a pleasant fat man. I'm a pleasant fat man. <laughs> uh, 
smile. He goes to a pleasant pen to poison pen. I don't, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind spreading cheer. I don't mind making. You know, I don't mind that. You feel me? Well, I'm gonna need you in a Santa outfit now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you, you. I, mean, I, I do meet the criteria. <laughs> uh, you were you just off the top made me think. You were talking about working. What like maybe way back in the day? What is the most mundane job you've ever had? I worked for the Board of Ed in the mailroom. Wow. Out of high school. I, um, yeah, I got a job for the New York City Board, it was Department of Education, whatever, Board of Department of Ed, whatever, and I worked in the main building, and I was, I was a mail clerk, you know, 18 years old, so mail, had to be like 6 in the morning, and you know, this is New York, it's the New York City Board of Ed, so the building, there's three buildings, and I literally just sorted mail all day and ran packages to, from building to building, so yeah, that was very mundane, I hated that shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to call out all the time. Like, I would get a show that, that I was making like $50 for, and I would call out, even though I was going to make way more money at work. But I wanted to go rap, so fuck that place. But yeah, that was very mundane. That was an interesting one. And I also worked, I also worked at a job, so like I said, you, you, <laughs> I, I've, had, I've had an interesting life. I, but, and I also live in New York. I worked at a job, right? It was shortly after that. I worked at a catalog company, right? They used to sell girls' clothes. Dilly, you know Dillias? Ever heard of Dillias? Oh my God, stop it. If you called Dillias years back, there was like a it was like a fifteen percent chance you were speaking to a fucking rapper. And you are a you were selling dumb ass Way after the fact, platform clogs and bell bottom pants to some yes. dumbass thirteen year old yes. girls. Yes. And you know who else worked there? Who? Immortal technique. You know who else worked there? <laughs> who? You, you know you know who else worked there? Who? Pumpkin. You know who else worked there? Oh. What the fuck? Uh, oh. my man my man DJ Static, the bad C oh. worked there. <laughs> a mill from a mill from Rockefeller Records before she started rapping. Like, bro, we the... all worked at that bullshit ass job, yo. Man, what between this and Sharon missing the boat on being JC Penny's face of the company, I don't know what to say about any of y'all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was a very interesting job. Like that was that that job was fucking insane. The pay was trash. But you know what? Right after that job. I, I went to I went to this website and started and, and started throwing and started throwing battles like right like fresh out of high school there you know what I'm saying like all those early battles with the uh, gin and mini styles and uh, all those for gin and mini styles and uh, diabolic and that and all those those are, those are all the battles that we were throwing that I threw for this company back in. Yeah, that was years ago, man. Fucking yeah, and that and that was right after I left Billy's. That's crazy. Company. I, no, feel, I, I I feel like I saw they were rebooting that cat. I mean, I'm sure it'd be all online, but I saw something about that, like not maybe three months ago, like it was coming back. Yo, you know who else worked for Billy's? Yeah, with me. <laughs> Rob Rob Markman from Genius. <laughs> what? Yo, What's happening? All working. Yo, we all fucking worked at Dillies, yo. All of us. Like, <laughs> taking orders. Think, yo, it, was, it was fucking ridiculous, yo. We all, we all worked there. Like, all of us. That's way better than sorting mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, back, back in, like, the, the fucking the very early 90s, was uh, shit like exhaust and uh, major damage and shit like that a thing in the States? Mecca. Wow. Oh, hold on, hold on. You got big lungs, oh, hold on, hold on. Good, sir. Now, now, exhaust and damage, that was the shit that the Yardies wore. The Jamaicans wore that shit. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> that, that that was nice shit back in the day. You, you, in that the one Eminem song, he talks about wearing the fucking that clothing with the X's on it, not knowing what the fuck they were wearing mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, I was fucking white kid rolling around yeah. fucking kitchen, kitchen Ontario, Canada, rocking all those X shit. Just look at me go, <laughs> holy fuck, man! But yeah, uh, exhaust. Damn. But yeah, that, man. Then another one, uh, South Pole. Was that a thing there? Oh God, yes. Now South Pole was always dead. We never rocked South Pole. See, the it was a thing, thing though. It was a thing. Yeah, South it was a Pole thing. Like, it, it, I saw it in the store, but we 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 never like we didn't do South Pole because we always did North Face, and if we didn't do North Face, we had Bear. If we didn't have yes. Bear, we had a Columbia. South, you know what I'm saying? And we, didn't, we didn't really do South Pole. South Pole and here like, was like. You you could get fucking you could get jeans for like twelve bucks and like it was garbage. <laughs> Nobody would fucking wear it. Everybody'd laugh at it. But then I would fucking see like a rapper, you know, it like that around the time South Pole was hot or like trying to be hot, and it wouldn't be you know a fifty cent caliber, but it'd be someone you know mid to mid to upper echelon in terms of popularity. We're on South Pole at a source or an XXL magazine or some shit, and I'd be like. What the fuck? They're buying that shit down in the states. <laughs> when they were here, taking- that shit was garbage bags. Yeah, that's right. So I always wondered. But you know what's or, uh, funny? Axel. Somebody, somebody, somebody wearing that shit because in Jersey, right, right over the bridge, right over the George Washington Bridge, going into Jersey, <laughs> there's a huge ass South Pole building right there in uh, was it in Fort Lee, New Jersey? Wait, still? So we, I, I think it's still there. <laughs> what? I mean, not, not, like, not like I'm looking for it. Not like I want. Not, not like I need South Pole. Like, is, it, is there a Rockaware building next to it? Back. A Rockaware. I, I, I did wear Rock. I did wear Rockaware. I, listen, yeah, yeah. Rockaware was hard for a minute. Rockaware like was Rock dope away. for a minute. Rockaware Fat Farm had some RH yep. shit. Yeah. I was I was watching State Property the other day, and I was looking at the fucking clothes, and I was like, I had that shirt. <laughs> yeah, the, the fucking the first state property when that shit came out, I was like, "Yo, this is a pretty good movie." I never, I never gave the second one a chance. So the first one is a pretty good movie. So some years went by. I got a little older, you know, stopped wearing my pants down around my fucking knees, and I was like, yeah, "That's a pretty shitty fucking movie." I thought state property <laughs> was so good when it came out. Uh, remember when uh, oh, the No Limit one? Uh, I'm about it. Did you ever see about that it. pile of shit? Bro, oh. I, I watch I watch every hip hop. I told you I'm a fucking hip hop nerd. I watch every hip hop movie, man. Even if I don't think I'm gonna like it, I watch it because it's a hip hop movie. If it's whack, I just won't watch it again. But yep, I, I I'm about it. First of all, there's there, there's movies that are in the category of so bad that it's good, and I'm about it. Was definitely one of those. Did you see the editing? Like one scene, the cigarette will be almost done. Did you turn back? And the cigarette is, is like it's like or it's like three quarters full. And like yo, it's like your fam. Like what are you doing? Like yo, the editing was fucking terrible. But yo, did, did it's you, about it, man. Like he he, he opened see? the door for all of us to do this shit, man. Like he's did the reason see? why these motherfuckers started make. Like think about it. If you, if you look at years like years ago. When people were doing order, the money and violence, the Brooklyn Way. Everybody had their their, their um their little web series and shit like that. Where do you think all that shit stemmed from? That stemmed from that stemmed from I'm about it. That stemmed from Jay Z streets is watching. All that shit stems from that shit. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just it's just this generation's way of doing that. You know what I'm saying? I fucking I'm with you back in the fucking in the 90s like I I had all those fucking shitty different colored no limit albums like the CD <laughs> cases and stuff I was buying no disrespect, but, no but oh no oh, yo see see no. murder Mac I, yeah. fuck, I still listen to shit to this day but let's get into some more of the, the terrible Mia hip-hop Mac movies like Mia Mac, Mia X Unladylike is my fucking album but yeah, back to <laughs> the, the bad hip hop movie. Did you have you the, guys the last seen the dawn? Movie? You see that oh, one? MP the last dawn. It was horrible too. Have you, you see guys ever shit? seen Fear of a Black Cat? Fear of a Black Cat? No, I don't think so. Mm. I love the silence. You need to go if you have 
You got Amazon Prime, uh, uh, Amazon Prime, right? You guys get like, everybody got Amazon Prime, right? Yeah. Cause I know different streaming fucking services, different places. All right. I know, I know it's available here. <laughs> Amazon Prime. So, so, now, for certain reasons, you don't get certain movies and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. So, um, but it's on Amazon Prime out here. So it may be on Amazon Prime out there. It's called Fear of a Black Hat, and it's a parody hip hop spoof from the early nineties. Oh, and it's kind of in the vein of CB4. That's but, a good movie. But it's but it's actually funnier. But it's a similar premise. But it was an indie movie, and um, it stars this dude Rusty Cundy, who's a, who's an ill comedian who did, who did a lot of writing for the Chappelle Show and shit like that later on. But he plays the main rapper, a dude, a dude named... The group is called NWH. Right? <laughs> NWH, and it stands for Niggas with Hats. <laughs> what right? the fuck? So oh, the Jesus. group is a combination, because it's a, it's a parody movie. So the group is a combination of, like, Public Enemy, meets oh, no. NWA, <laughs> like, so, so everything, like, they, they, they just kind of combine, like, a bunch of the early 90s Hip hop groups together, but it's like it's like pretty much a public enemy slash NWA kind of group. And so they have like a main a main rapper, the secondary rapper was kind of the flavor flame dude, like a short dark skin flavor flame kind of dude. And mm-hmm. then they had the DJ. And and and, and the movie follows their exploits in the hip hop game and how they broke up. And the movie is fucking hilarious. It's one of my favorite hip hop movies of all time. And 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 I, and no one knows about this freaking movie. Like most people don't know about this movie. If if if, if when I mention the title and someone is aware of the movie, I automatically give them about a thousand extra brownie points. But all of you failed because I mentioned it. Nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, you don't <laughs> even know. You don't even know about me in movies. So yeah, f- yo, Let's- fuck, yo, Penn. She's she is an American, full blooded, and she's never seen Rocky Four. <laughs> Wait, that's the most American movie ever, uh, yo. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, yell at her, like, man, you know, please. You know, and I'm not even, like, like, I'm far from a, a pay, I, I love, I love, I love, I love my people, I love where I'm at, but, you know, I don't like the policies, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you um, still watch Rocky IV, right? But, 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 like, <laughs> you don't get no more American, like, patriotic, like, that movie was the most American shit ever, yo, like. Uh, that shit just felt like America. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, got COVID, COVID watching that shit so much. <laughs> I don't know. I look. I don't like bacon or chocolate either. I I'm not from this what? planet. I know. I know. See, I was I was with you. I was with you the whole ride. <laughs> <laughs> like I was trying to get up. Huh? Yo! Oh my goodness! You you don't like chocolate or bacon? Wow! You, wow! I had chocolate wings in Toronto one time. The bishop told me not to get them, but they were good. Come on, man. I had chocolate chicken wings. They were dope. Wait, Wait, look, look, listen. Look. You want to you want a real huh? mind blower here? I'm a pastry chef, and I don't like chocolate. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's odd. Uh, yep. Wow. Anyway, yeah. No. So so all all that to say. Um, with Jason, you should definitely be like, you lost brownie points with me. There is nothing you can say about a movie that's going to get you anywhere with me unless it's like Denzel, Will, The Rock. There are like 10 actors. I've seen all of them. That's it. And that's all. Really? Really. Wow. That's okay. I mean, hey, listen, every, every, everyone's different. I'm not, I'm not a movie buff, but I definitely, you know, have seen quite a few movies in my time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. And I spent uh, a lot of time watching like the shitty, those shitty '90s hip hop movies. At the time, they were awesome to me. But another one that I want to get to before we get too far away like from this. Please watch. Oh, I am. I, I actually wrote it the fuck down. Please. Oh, dude. If I if I had your number, I would text you my notes right now. I it's literally bolded. The fucking number text is all good. The the movie with Gary Busey it was a no limit movie. Gary Busey and God, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker's brother gets murdered. Hot, hot, boys. hot boys, hot boys, is that what it's called? 
Oh one? man, yeah, yeah. When 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 fucking Silk the when Silk the Shocker sees his brother d- dead laying on the ground, and he goes, "Oh no, they killed my brother." That part right there is is the worst part of acting on fucking film you will ever see. I don't give a shit. I've watched the movie like a hundred times. Gary Busey's the star. What do you expect? But I fucking I loved those fucking shitty movies back then. Thicker than water, the Mac Ten one. Oh, that shit. I was making the same show, right? Uh huh. That was awful. Yeah. That was terrible. Man, about, but back in the day, I loved it. When, 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 when Q Tip was playing like a Foster talent, he was like thirty. He was playing what? Aww. <laughs> he, he was like he a was Foster like talent. He was like a group home kid, but he was already like 30 years old. Like, yo, my dude, you mad old. He was like a group home kid. And he was, and he, and, and in the movie, he had beef with like Fat Joe in the movie and shit. It was horrible, bro. I can't even think about that. All I can do right now is Q tip fucking, uh, you got the juice now, man. No, I'm talking about Q tip. You remember? Fucking, I know, what? I know, I know, I know, but you remember, you know what that is, right? <laughs> Course, bro, Juice is a come on, that's bro. Juice a dope is, movie. That's a fucking Juice really is good movie. Juice the ultimate New York City growing up. Like that's that's that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like that's Fuck a yes. of the movie. Yeah, I've been watching that shit since it came out on VHS. Um, shit, I, I I tried to go I tried to go to the, to the movies and they I had to go I had to come back with my pops. They was like, nope, you can't let you little who gives it without parents. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would have been what rated R probably. Yeah, that was definitely rated R. Yeah, Bishop went pretty fucking crazy in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but other shitty hip hop movies, Baller Blocking, that was a terrible one. The Cash Money one. That was that was the cash that was the Cash Money one. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah, you see, see, I mean, too, you see, I got it. As soon as you say it on those ones, what about what about um, what about choices? Three, oh, the three six mafia. The three six mafia one. Oh my god! Yeah, that was not good. That was not fucking good at all, and not what I expected. And then, and then once other people like low budget films got a hold of rappers like Bones featuring Snoop, that was not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Jimmy Bones! I thought I killed you. Holy fuck! That was so bad. <laughs> so so fucking bad. Well, yo, hip hop is giving us some some epically, some epic, epically horrible movies. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. The TV show. You know what? Check this out. See, check this out. You know what you guys need. To, if you like, if you like bad hip hop or earth, like you know hip hip hop stuff from the nineties or early two thousand shit, and, and with, with with ridiculous commentary, one of my dudes has a YouTube channel and, like, just breaks apart these old-ass movies and shit like that. It's called um, Look Up Prim's Hood Cinema. P-R-I-M-M-S Prim's Hood Cinema. And he's a dude, he's a dude from, um, he's from Baltimore. A dude from Maryland. And he's, like, 28, 29. He covers like all the movies from like the nineties and shit. And he just he just you know, he's fucking like the way he breaks it down from, from his perspective is just so freaking hilarious. And he so he covers like all the like juice boys in the hood. Oh uh, shit. I got this, shit. Um, he just he just just stayed properly and he co- and it's so funny. You gotta watch this shit. I, I can hear Amy typing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually good about muting myself, but I was getting a glass of water. Not that time. And not earlier when you let out that Cortez. Dude, that was a (laughs) gas shot, might I add. You messaged me right away, like, oh my God, that come out? (laughs) Yeah, it sounded pretty fucking seductive, too. Like, I meant to mute my mic. (laughs) No, I love Tez, but I was actually just very surprised. Yeah. Oh, all right, Penn. We're gonna let you get the hell out of here. Let uh, him get out of here. He wants to talk all night. You gotta let me get out of here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice, Amy. You signed up for this shit. I know. No, I did. You know what? I actually said, Pen. I gotta tell you, I have felt like literal shit all day. I'd have been in bed like five hours ago, and I was like, Jason, 
you have to let me know when he's done walking in the rain. He left. And like now here we are. <laughs> yeah, I told you, know, but I, I I set aside the time so we can do it, so it's all good. But yeah, it's all it's all good, yo. I appreciate you know you a good combo and all that. We ain't, we ain't even get to get to the to the to the to the year you know I mean to the brass tacks, but you know still good conversation. Good yeah. good to chat with you guys, you know. And there's uh you know more conversations to have in the future, like I, I, the the. <laughs> You know, you've been fucking hip hop since day one. This is your your number one passion. You just embody hip hop, and that's something that I absolutely love. And there's not many fucking people I could talk to about you know hip hop for decades long and this and that that know their shit. So we will be talking again. Thank you so much for giving us fucking what are we at now? Over four hours of your time. Really do appreciate that. Is there any? Anything else you want to get in here, Penn? Anything you want to plug? Anything like that before we get the fuck out of here? Uh, shit, I think I, I think I've said a, a, enough this time. You know, <laughs> Aww, that's fair. never enough. We, 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 till, till next time. Till next time. Till next time. Tune in. Tune in next time. All right, for Poison Pen, Ramey Barton, Kirill Kasatsky, I'm Jay Kelly. This is the Billion Downtown. We out. Peace. Peace. Building downtown, building downtown, building downtown.